Hello. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to season two <laughs> of the bun and the beard. Do you remember how the camera works? No. I think it's on. Well gone. Well gone. Apologies, it's been a little while. We've been um, busy. We'll explain a bit more later on. Mm. But right now she's off for a bike ride, as you can tell. Got all her stuff. And I've, I've got to stay here and do some work. <laughs> it seems a bit unfair, doesn't it? Welcome back. Welcome back. So I'm going to park up in the cafe near home and do some work by myself. Got a whole list of people I need to make phone calls to. Just walking back from cafe. It's turned cracking up here. Sunshine. So I'm going to try and hop on my bicycle and take my TT bike out for a little spin. Get myself in that little position for a while because when the sun's out up here in the north you've got to take advantage of it because it could go away again like that is what I'm learning or it could start bolting down with rain and flood or it could get really really cold that's where you get a weather window hopping on bike back in a minute there she is ready to roll I've had to steal the front wheel from my road bike because my normal front wheel has got a racing slick tyre on it. <laughs> I really don't want a racing slick tyre out today so I need to change that to make it more winterified and she won't look quite as unbalanced. Big one on the back, little one on the front. Let's change that up. Why am I going out my TT bike? Because I love it. For me, bike riding is all about moving really fast, and that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to go out, not doing any efforts, just going to move at speed on my TT bike and have a nice little smile bike ride like this. Can't wait. <laughs> it's been a while. So, welcome back. It's been about two months? Yeah. Since the end of season one, and now the start of season two. At the end of the last season, it was it was the end of our racing season. It was the end of like the summer work that Jam did. So then we had a holiday. We had a bit of family stuff to do, a few weddings to go to. So it was quite a nice time for us to have a little break, properly get settled into the house up here in the north. Yeah, that's been interesting. Finding our rhythm. It's a very different pace up here, as yeah. you'd imagine, but very different. Yeah, and the weather as well. We had a lot of stuff going on with work, which we're going to go into over the course of the next few episodes. We've got lots of interesting projects coming up for this winter and going into next year. Again, plenty more on that later on. Mm -hmm. but I suppose we're here today to say we're back. Yes. Season two has officially started. Sorry for the wait. Thank you for so many messages from people wanting us to hurry back to vlog life. Yeah. Good news is we're now back. Our whole, like we're going to start all our winter training again soon for riding bikes and running and for next year's adventures. And there's a lot of stuff going on with Jan, but that's for, that's for next time. George's bike stand is still standing. My bike stand's still standing. We had three bikes on it the other day, did not collapse. We haven't burnt the house down yet. We've got the Christmas light switch on tomorrow in Castleton. Which I might film, might not. Probably, we'll take the camera. Take the camera, see what it, we can do. It will be dark. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming up soon. Yeah. Different stuff. Different stuff. Loads of it. It's there. Oh, good. It just uh, let me put my little towel in. Could you close down mine for me? Thanks, boss. I think we need to put something on that, where, on that board, on that whiteboard. We need to put some motivation on there for us to look at. Yeah. Some words of inspiration. Yeah. So when we're sat here flogging ourselves over the winter, we can look at it. Winners make it happen, losers let it happen. That. That's a good one. Who said that? Uh, Mal. Well, basically, we used to do national cross country every year, and every time you bought the jumper each year, there was a different motivational quote on it, and that was one of them one year. Oh, really? really? Yeah. You just drag that nugget out from the recesses yeah. of your mind. I like it. It's one about like, no one ever, 
No one ever remembers a loser, no one ever forgets a winner. <laughs> that was on a that was on a child's jumper. Yeah. For motivation. How old? It was something like that. Well, you could, any age from a, like under thirteen to senior women. So oh, okay. Kind of broad spectrum. Very funny. Some of them were really good. <sighs> right, tea time. Right, I've sent the beard upstairs to do something that I've wanted us to do for a while, and we're just getting around to it now. Um. We bought, well, I watch the Instagram videos of someone called Mrs. Hinch. I don't know if any of you guys watch it. It's weirdly addictive. Um, and she put on a link the other day to these bits of foam that sort of join together like jigsaw puzzles. That you, She uses them to make like a play area for her little baby. But I thought they'd be perfect for under our, um, for under our turbo trainers so that we can like sweat onto them and there's no risk of damaging the floor. Um, so George has just gone upstairs to start doing that, so let's go and see how he's getting on. He's not here! So it's this stuff. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten pieces in that one. Ten pieces in that one. I think this was £12 altogether from eBay. Um, so yeah, it'll go under this bike and under that one. So we can keep this nice wooden floor nice and wooden. Take out a midsection. Oh yeah, dreamy. Uh, there's a bike there. New sweat resistant flooring. Hey, are you happy with that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that better? Yeah. It's much better. I think so, just because I was worried about the sweat sweating like down into the cracks of the floor and then in ten years time the floor will, like <laughs> and the old people will, like not the old people, the people that own this house will, like <laughs> What's going on here? Why is that floor corroded from the inside? So now this job so jobs are good in. Training time. It was Grimsler outside. Yeah, it's kind of average now. It's kind of average now, but we've run out of time, haven't we've we? We've run out of time and also inner tubes. <laughs> so it would be a liability out in the roads. We had two punches yesterday. So today we're confined to indoors. We need to stock up on inner tubes. To buy some more tubes. Send help, send tubes. Another day, another Zwift session. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> you only sweat a tiny amount, so I only got you a tiny flannel. Got my essentials. What, mis what mistake did we make? Didn't dry our shoes. Didn't fully dry our shoes after yesterday's ride, so they're a little bit cold on the tootsies today, aren't they? If we put up any of this content, Straight away, someone's gonna say, "What the crap is that noise?" Aren't they? About the turbo. Yeah. Oh yeah. The turbo trainer we Sounds use power. isn't the most silent thing in the world. We don't care. You can hear when you're doing well. I want to hear the hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Gets the job done though. Proper. Got a new hat. New set of ears, what's it? It's a muff. It's a muff. Mini muff. <laughs> Look at this little fucker. <laughs> it's gonna go on the camera somehow. I think I've got to cut him in two first. He's not quite the right shape. 
little hat. Hopefully we try and cut out some of those um, windy noises. That everybody loves. I'm going to cut them up, put them on and let's take them for a test. Rage. The one bit of rubbish road the whole time, he gets us. Yeah. Naughty! I think it's a pinch of it, but he's not over. A bit of rubble. It's good to go. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to almost winter. In the peaks. <laughs> yes. Not our most successful bike ride. Depends how you define success. Good point. We went outside. We went outside. Didn't die. Didn't die. Did a bit of riding. Did a bit of riding. One puncher. Probably took us 20 minutes. Yeah, because we kept ripping the valve core out. Valve core. Uh, do you reckon we're on a bad batch of inner tubes? Because it happened on a fair few of them, isn't it? It's these inner tubes. The core is coming straight out. Yeah, I think we need to like tighten the valve. Before it. using them. I'm going to go through the batch and tighten them all up. Yeah. My pump's never done that in like three or four years and now it's doing it on these. It's not my pump. I reckon I probably did enough pumping with my arms to pump about five wheels up. <sighs> Tired now. <laughs> nice evening though. <laughs> the only thing with the floofs is that <laughs> can't quite see us now. Which isn't a real problem. It's got a bit more guesswork. Um, We're thank back. you for watching season 2 episode 1 of Bun and Beard. Tomorrow we'll start recording episode 2. Season 2 episode 2. Probably. What have we got on this week? What's in the next episode? Bike riding, running, riding. going outside. Ooh, we'll probably talk about some jam, jam updates. Yeah. Then what? Um, adventure riding this weekend. Adventure in the peaks. We are home adventure this weekend. Holiday at home this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, maybe a new bike day in the not too. Oh, planning new bike day for her. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yes. All right. Peace out. Mm -hmm.